Hello everyone, I'm Ray, and this is our dungeon guide for the optional Dead Minds boss, Vanessa Van Cleef, the daughter of Edwin Van Cleef. She is only available on the heroic mode and is a one-time occurrence per lockout, so if you wipe on her, she will permanently despawn and you will not be able to attempt her again. To begin the encounter, a member must read the note that is left behind after defeating Cookie, and she will appear above the cabin door. After a few moments, Vanessa will leap down from the top of the door onto the deck and explain to you how she's been waiting a long time for this revenge, how she's not good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and how she excels at poisoning her victims instead. At this point, she will inject her group with a nightmare elixir and thus begin phase one, a gauntlet event. The first part of the nightmare, you will be trapped and have to activate the steam valves to free yourself. To do this, just click the valves on the side of the cauldron. Once free, the Nightmare Elixir will take its hold and you will move at reduced speed while Vanessa will explain to you briefly that you are in Glubtalk's Nightmare. After she disappears, your movement speed will be returned and you will have entered Glubtalk's Nightmare. The objective here is to move down the ramp, avoiding the fires and falling icicles from above as they will do a substantial amount of damage to your group. Once you reach the door at the bottom, you will find Glubtalk and will have to fight him. The fight is fairly simple. Just make sure your tank is moving consistently around to avoid the falling icicles and flames on the floor until he's defeated. Once defeated, Vanessa will spawn again for a few moments and introduce you to Helix's Nightmare. The room will become enshrouded with shadows as you begin to fight Helix. You'll want to tank him by the door as during the fight a bunch of spiders will spawn throughout the room and aggro the group. The easiest way to deal with them is to AoE him down as they reach the group, as they will continue to come while Helix is still alive. When Helix dies, Vanessa will appear again, and the Nightmare will shift to the Mechanical Nightmare. You will notice the hallway before you is now filled with a bunch of spinning spark walls, much like the old firewalls in the Mario games. And just like Mario, players cannot touch these sparks as they will kill you upon contact, and you must weave your way through the hallway and down to the final door. Here, you will encounter a Foe Reaper 5000, simply tank him by the door and avoid the spinning sparks. The Nightmare will shift once more as the Foe Reaper 5000 dies and Vanessa appears one more time to explain Rip Snarl's Nightmare. When your movement speed returns, you will have entered Rip Snarl's Nightmare and the first task will be to save Emmy Harrington. Run a little ways down the dock where you will find her cowering behind three enraged worgen. Make sure your tank aggros all the enraged worgen as you cannot allow anyone to die in this nightmare. Once you save Emmy, run down the dock and repeat this process for Eric Harrington and on the ship for Calissa Harrington. Here, the Nightmare Elixir will finally wear off as you come up on the top deck and you will begin phase 2 of the encounter, Vanessa herself. The first 50% of this fight is fairly simple. Vanessa herself will be a tank and spang with only a small set of abilities in her arsenal. As she said, she isn't very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. The first ability is Backlash, a basic rogue shadow step which you will randomly pop up behind a group member and slice at them, placing a debuff that will deal physical damage over a period of 10 seconds to the player. The second ability to keep in mind is Deadly Blades, where she will leap randomly from target to target and damage you for a small amount. The final one to keep in mind is Deflection, which she will randomly cast on herself throughout the fight. Deflection will increase her parry chance by 100%, reduce the chance ranged attacks will hit her by 100%, and deflect spells by 100% for 10 seconds. While this is up, you should focus on the other aspect of the encounter, the adds. Vanessa will randomly summon Defias Shadow Guards, Defias Enforcers, and Defias Blood Wizards, which should be picked up by your tank and immediately burned down. You should also note that some of the adds will make red shields pop up randomly on your group members. These bubbles work the same as the trash pulls before you reach the docks. Standing in them will increase damage taken, but will also increase your damage done. So make sure if your DPS is going to stand in them, they do not have aggro on any ads. At 50%, Vanessa will begin to detonate charges on the ship, and you will notice at the side there are five ropes with large green arrows pointing to them. You'll want to run over and each grab a rope, which will swing you off the ship while the charges go off and bring you back once it's safe. It's probably best to assign ropes to your group members as you don't want anyone to be on the ship when the charges are detonated due to confusion. Now, the ship will be partially engulfed in flames, which should be avoided as they deal a substantial amount of damage fairly quickly, and standing in them will guarantee a quick death. The fight continues as normal until 25%, where Vanessa will detonate more charges and you will want to get off the boat once more. The last 25% is a burn phase and she will no longer summon adds. Just make sure to stay clear of the flames on the boat and stay close to the side. At 1%, Vanessa will make her final stand and yell out, Enough! I will not give you the pleasure. 
if I'm going to die, I'm taking you all with me. My fate is my own. At this point, she will detonate the final set of charges, and you'll want to get to the ropes one final time to swing off the boat. Once you come back, Vanessa will have blown herself up, and you'll have completed the encounter. Congratulations! This was Ray here, bringing you another LOD dungeon guide. If you like this dungeon guide and would like to see others, make sure to check out both our channel and website, and feel free to join our blog to participate on our discussions. Both links can be found in the description box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching!